back to part two of this huge SPF review that I'm doing for you guys. Let's just really jump right back into it and get back to reviewing some of these sunscreens. Another SPF that went super viral like a year or two ago at this point, I can't even remember, is this Bondi Sands Australian Tan brand. And this is the Face SPF. So fragrance-free, it definitely is fragrance-free, but it really smells like sunblock. Like, if you don't like that smell, <laughs> if it's too much for you this is definitely a no because it is strong af i love the smell of sunscreen i don't know it reminds me of summer i love summertime it's my favorite like being by the beach or the pool so definitely brought back great memories for me and i liked it but overall even though this is eight dollars i don't know if i would use it again i think more on my arms is what i do with this it's it's not greasy and it does definitely absorb into your face so there is a white cast but i feel like for the most part since i'm so white it goes away but it's just a lot like i don't know how to explain that any better it just felt too much on my face like just too heavy not really greasy but just just like too much and i feel like for everybody else if you're like me you'll be okay but if you're a little bit darker than this you'll have an insane white cast with this so i feel like it will work uh it'll get the job done as far as protecting you from the sun because it has such a strong white cast but just personally overall for me i didn't care for it as much on my face just was too heavy the price point for this was probably the best price point out of anything but definitely i think i would just get this and use it on my body the nice thing about this brand is it is cruelty free reef friendly and made with recycled materials so i definitely feel like this is good for like travel and stuff like that if you are going into the ocean it says suitable for sensitive skin and it won't clog pores and i do have to agree with that like i don't feel like my skin was sensitive at all it's just a it's just a basic a good basic one but it is a little bit on the heavier side after that another brand that has been super popular is this coco kind daily spf this is a uh, 32 spf and it says protects against va uvb and blue light let's not go there but overall um this wasn't my favorite I feel like for the size and the price, it wasn't that great, uh, especially with it just being 32. I've kind of just been using it on my arms more than my face. It had a pretty strong white cast. The smell wasn't harsh, so that was nice. But overall, it kind of reminded me of the Bondi Sands. They were kind of similar. This probably had less white cast than the Bondi Sands, but I don't know i didn't get the hype about it i didn't really care for it it was just okay but i wouldn't repurchase it again and i really can't tell you why i just really didn't like it like it just it just didn't feel like it did enough for me and i just felt like it was just so much white cast even for me let's talk about the most white cast you've ever seen in your life and that is this spf it is the safe block by misha honestly i have to say like i used all of this and it really worked well it was insane white cast even for me like my face was so white but i don't feel like it was super greasy like it didn't it didn't make my skin feel greasy like at all it didn't feel like it clogged my pores um overall besides the white cast issue i feel like i really liked this one and i will say that i went to hawaii and the sun there is different if you've never been or if you like live on the mainland and you've never been you might not understand but the sun is really strong so any other time i've gone i've kind of had a base tan but i still use spf and i've been okay the last time i went i was so white i mean i would have burnt immediately so i literally slathered this like all over my body 
and whole family made fun of me because it left a strong white cast with the white nose but literally was over my whole entire body but i didn't care because i was not about to get sunburned so other members of my family got very very sunburned they were so uncomfortable and i was not this literally worked so well but i will say it's not for everybody because of the strong white cast next up is Laneige. This is the Hydro UV Defense. This is an SPF 50. I will say this is one of my favorite brands. I love everything by Laneige and I really liked this one. At first I felt like maybe I was a little too oily with it but it's definitely more of a glow than a greasy <laughs> feel so it definitely I feel like has a tiny bit of a white cast but it definitely disappears once it's on your skin I did feel really glowy it's really pretty under makeup I feel like it's really lightweight it wasn't too heavy overall I really liked this um, I will say it's not like I wasn't amazed by it but I did really like this and it was good for sensitive skin Compared to some of the Innisfree sunscreens that I've used before, which I was really excited about, but then just really was irritated, I will say Laneige did not irritate my skin at all whatsoever. It was just like a really good, basic, glowy, but not too heavy SPF. So these are probably my top two just absolute favorite sunscreens and what I've been using the most. The first one is Every Sunday by Dr. Jart. This is a mineral sunscreen. It is an SPF 50. I absolutely love this sunscreen. It's definitely, definitely one of my favorites. I love Dr. Jart also. I feel like a lot of their stuff is great for sensitive skin. It didn't have a strong fragrance. It definitely was very gentle. I felt like at first maybe it had a little bit of a white cast but then when i just kind of finished you know getting it on my skin and letting it set it didn't at all and the nice thing about this for oily skin is it was matte so matte if i'm having a really good skincare day and i don't need to wear makeup or i just need to put a little bit of powder over my face this is what i'm wearing underneath because literally it really just goes on so matte i don't feel oily glowy the thing with some of the other glowy spfs when you're oily you know by midday i'm so greasy it's like i'm extra glowy because of it but this oh my gosh i love this so much i'm definitely gonna buy more and always have this this is definitely gonna be one in my collection that i'm always using because for those days that I don't want to be glowy and I want more of a matte finish, this is perfect. It goes so well under makeup. Absolutely, absolutely love it. Definitely one of my faves. The final one of my top two is the most expensive of them all and that is the new Tatcha SPF. This is the Silk Sunscreen. It's a hydrating mineral shield. It has niacinamide and hyaluronic acid in it. It's SPF 50. Definitely need to shake before you use it. It is definitely much more watery like compared to the Dr. Jart. It is, you know, not quite as, like I said, it's more of a matte finish. This is more of a glowy finish. It doesn't have a white cast because it has a little bit of a pink tint to it. So I will say for my skin, it blends pretty well and matches actually, but I feel like it really disappears into the skin really well. It is glowy, but I will say it's not too glowy. It is nowhere compared to the glow recipe or any of the others it is kind of more in between a glow and a matte in my opinion this is what i'm using like every day along with this or the dr jart it goes on really easily it's a really really liquidy so i feel like instead of doing like the two fingers like i do and patting it on i'm just straight up like <laughs> rubbing this all over my face because it is so watery it was like 60 dollars so it definitely was very expensive but honestly i really loved it i just i don't know there wasn't a strong smell with it it was really hydrating and it was a pretty glow without being too greasy if that makes sense i will say with this i didn't feel irritated at all again i've used this multiple times i really like it it's really hydrating good for all skin types but if you're more of a matte girl and want mineral i guess these are both 
mineral and that's been my favorite. I don't think any other has been mineral. The glow recipe I think was like half mineral, half traditional maybe. Uh, also reef safe. I feel like most of these are reef safe now. So the glow is a chemical slash mineral. These two are mineral and all the rest have been chemical. But yeah, so that's that. Um, again, I think... <laughs> I actually have another package of specifically K-Beauty really popular viral SPFs to try next. I've already been trying one and I do really like it. So I'll keep you guys updated on that when I'm finished with that and let you know how I feel about those. But that's, that's that. That's all the information that I can give you. Hopefully it was helpful. Hopefully you got something out of it. Please like and subscribe for more and I'll see you guys next time.